Hayao Miyazaki is the never-ending man, a prolific director who started working in the 1960s and seems to still have plans for the 2020s. Today he's known for his original feature films that he creates at Studio Ghibli. For him, a film begins with images, not words, and this is the key to the untouchable quality of his works. Here are five things you need to know about this director. Miyazaki is someone who kind of lives in a world of his own. Despite the changing times, he's an antiquated person who doesn't use modern technology. So when Ghibli president Toshio Suzuki approached him about putting all of his films on Netflix, he had no idea what he was going on about. So instead, Suzuki told him that if he agreed to put his films on Netflix, the licensing fee would go towards funding his next film. Suddenly, Miyazaki appeared to be on board with the idea. The films are releasing in batches on Netflix outside of the US, Canada and Japan, while the US will be getting them when HBO Max launches. Because of Miyazaki's issues with technology, you'd think he'd have a problem with CG. But that's only half right. In fact, many of Miyazaki's films involve CG animation, most notably Princess Mononoke. However, even after building a super team of CG animators, he closed the department down because he believed the production was becoming too reliant on computers. However, in 2018, Miyazaki released Borrow the Caterpillar, a CG short film for the Ghibli Museum. He was offered the chance to create it with Pixar, but instead chose to work with young Japanese CG animators who were able to teach this old dog some new tricks. Miyazaki came out of retirement to work on Borrow, but it wasn't the first time. He's mentioned that he's about to retire plenty of times ever since the 90s, but he just keeps on going. In 2013, he did a whole press conference about how he was now properly retiring, yet he introduced a caveat not long after, saying that he was still going to make short films for the museum. And now, he's properly out of retirement, creating a feature film titled How Do You Live? Due to Miyazaki now being 79, he can't make films nearly as quickly as he used to, so it's going to take some time. There's been plenty of documentaries about the life and work of Hayao Miyazaki, but one of the most ambitious ones is the documentary series 10 Years with Hayao Miyazaki. For 10 years, he was visited by a singular documentary filmmaker with a camera who spent all that time trying to get an idea of his creative process. This involved going to meetings with him, visiting the studio with him, and even going on trips with him. It's available to watch in many different languages on NHK World, and I'd highly recommend it. The first part of this documentary follows the creation of the film Ponyo, but it also coincides with the last stages of production for Miyazaki's son's film, The Tales of Earthsea. We see Miyazaki being incredibly awkward around his own son, at one point going into the studio, seeing that his son is there, and then going off to hide away in an office before going home. Miyazaki didn't want his son to be a director, because he felt it was something you had to earn and put your all into. This led to him walking out of Earthsea. He sent a positive message after the film's release, but his comments in the documentary show an unease towards the movie. Thanks for watching OtaQuest in Japan, and feel free to subscribe to find out more about Japanese anime, games, fashion, music, and more.